Hi, I'm John Twist of University Motors. Today we want to show you a quick repair. Well, it's not so quick at all, but a repair on the front sway bar mounts. Um, this is a MGB which has been converted to take a V8 and it's a much larger sway bar. And either sometime in the past or when this was being installed or who knows, the bolt that goes up through here which holds the sway bar mount was torn out. So we've had to drill holes here to be able to put a nut on the top side. So when we put our, our, our bolt up through here, which is going to fit with great difficulty because we've got a hose clamp in the way. Isn't that ducky? Um, I'm going to uh, slip away and grab a wrench. So we're going to see if we can get this, uh, get this bolt up into place here. And how much fun is this to stand here and watch this on YouTube and watch me work? I, usually I just talk. This thing's going in on a hell of an angle here and I'm not sure how to... Uh, but the problem was it was stripped to start off with. And uh, you know, are my, hose, my hose clamp's just in the wrong place here. So we're going to try to get this thing started relatively straight. And once we get the guy up in here, if he'll go, then uh, we'll put a nut, a jam nut on top of the other nut. And in that way, there we go. So we're, we're gonna walk this guy up into place here. While I'm doing this, the uh, gentlemen on the other side are, are you guys doing putting the spring into place? I got to. Okay, all right, well you wanna get that, Get going on that spring too. So. Yep. so anyway, here we go. We're coming up. You can see the top of the bolt now walking up out of the uh, stripped out nut that's in the frame. I tell you, this metal is really, really thick here. I may have burned up a hole saw doing this. Um, I know I almost burned my hand do, doing it because it was, uh, oh, this is going to be fun. All right, well, here we go. We're going to have a good time here. But we've got some techniques. We just have to have all the right little bits and pieces. So we're going to take our magnet. Take the magnet and put that in here. I don't know if you can even see over my shoulder and so forth. I know uh, Dayton's real good at what, what he does, but if you can't see the subject, then it's, uh, you're pretty well jammed up. But there, I think I've got that going. He's held in place and uh, so so I use a magnet there to hold that guy in place we'll see how it's actually going to work here if it's actually going to catch the threads I don't know. I thought maybe we'd catch the threads, but now I gotta try to use my finger because with your finger you can get a really good feel. I, I do believe it's caught the threads now. I thought, of course, I thought it had just a moment ago too. So, yeah, it's, it's got the threads now. So, now, if I can walk this guy, there's not enough room with that friggin' hose clamp in the way, but now I gotta have another half inch wrench. There are such things as short half inch wrenches. So, look at that, huh? So anyway, cutting the hole through the front, well that's just, I don't know how thick it is. 16th of an inch, I don't know, gauges, but uh, the back in the back here, oh my gosh, it's a couple double double thicknesses of metal, and uh, it's a real bugger to to, um, to get that hole through there. As I said before, I think I probably burn up my hole saw.
So, how, how much fun is this, huh? Getting to watch somebody else work. You can restore your whole car like this, just watch enough videos. You don't have to do anything. And at the end, our jam nut here is tight. So, there we go. And he's brought up, all set to go, and, and uh, all done. How about that? Let's see what Tim's doing here on the other side. Oh yeah, trying to get we uh, we just taken these tie rod ends off and the and the uh, the boots were torn. So right now we're taking these uh, wire ring hose clamps and, and uh, trying to pop that up up in there, winding them up. So <laughs> just offhand, yeah. If you keep running in a there we go, how about that? All right, so anyway, what we've done here today, we've replaced, uh, you can see the red bushings here at the top of the kingpins. Those were done before, but let me uh, walk in front of the camera, how attractive is that? And we put these new pads in here and then use the anti-caster shims to uh, straighten, the, straighten the front end a little bit, make steering effort a little less. So hey, we're on, uh, we're on our way. So that's about it. If you met, if you met Tim, so say hi, Tim. Hi. Hi, Tim. <laughs> um, this is uh, this is D-Day. This is the uh, 69th anniversary of D-Day, 2013, June 6th, and uh, we'll all be at the Namgar meet next week. So until then, safety fast.